Well, fight fans, ask and you shall receive. For the longest time, fans of the sweet science, we've all been clamoring for Terrence Bud Crawford to get an opportunity to prove himself against one of the to prove himself as a welterweight against one of the division's elite at 147 pounds. We finally had that culminating in his 10th round TKO stoppage of the incredibly game and durable Sean Showtime Porter. With the win, Bud Crawford improves to an astounding 38 and 0 with 29 of those victories coming by way of KO. He also retains his WBO version of the 147 pound title. With the loss, Sean Showtime Porter drops to 31 and 4. Now, Crawford was making the fifth defense of the WBO title strap, which he initially lifted from Australian Jeff Horn, following a shocking decision win over the great Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao back in June of 2018. As I, as I mentioned, this was Crawford's fifth defense of the title and was also his 16th straight consecutive in a row world title fight dating back to when he first lifted the lightweight title from Ricky Burns on the road in his home country of Scotland back in March of 2014. And it cap it capped off an impressive run for Crawford, who people often say, who has he fought? Who has he beat? Well, in his subsequent bouts since lifting that title from Ricky Burns in his hometown of Scotland, he's gone on to beat the likes of Yoriorkis Gamboa, Ray Beltran, Thomas Dulorme, Hank Lundy, Victor Postal, Felix Diaz, Julio Sendongo, the aforementioned Horn, Jose Benavides Jr., Amir Khan, Kel Brook, and of course, Sean Porter this evening. With three of those fighters, Benavides, Victor Postal, and Yoriorkis Gamboa, Crawford was the first fight, the fighter to hand them their first defeat. Tonight's victory was typical, prototypical, Terrence Crawford, pinpoint, counterpunching, and immense ring IQ and ring generalship. This fight wasn't without controversy, however, as Porter's trainer and father, Kenny Porter, seemed to cast aspersions and throw himself and his son and their preparation under the bus. Nevertheless, there's no denying the fact any longer. The fight that has to happen, the only fight that makes sense at 147 pounds, is the showdown the super fight of this generation, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr.